Not having a quick way to turn on my uh, mic is kind of annoying. Also, so is dropped frames. That's cool. That's what that's what tonight's gonna be like. First stream of the year, and we're gonna have dropped frames. Also, tonight's gonna be a little chill. I'm not feeling too great, and I, I was supposed to stream thir uh, Tuesday, and I didn't. So I'm just doing it tonight. I don't know how long this is gonna be. I might just play till I beat the game and stop. And then tomorrow I might do a short, like, Metal Gear stream to start it. And then start it proper next week. Though next week is AGDQ, so I don't know which days I'm gonna stream yet. To be honest, I looked over the schedule and there's only a few games I definitely want to watch on it. So chances are the stream schedule won't be affected too much. But then the week after that, my friend might be coming down again. So then, you know, that week might be fucked. It's really... Excuse me. Really, I got a lot more going on than I let on. It's just that I'm so lazy that, like, when I don't have a lot going on and I could do stuff, I don't get it done. But whatever. Uh, so last time, I played a bunch of different games and then I wrapped up with this game because this game is, like, one of my favorite underrated gems or hidden gems of the uh, Game Boy. I got halfway done. Uh, maybe we'll get through the rest of the other half tonight since I have a whole stream to do it. Um, these three levels are definitely a lot longer than the first four, so it might take a while. Eighth level's really short, though. But yeah, uh, enough fucking around. Let's get to it. I'm Big Mama. Me and my kids love to play underground. We'll be waiting for you. So, this is the first snow level. Uh, you can see there's a path to the left or right that I can't go in. It's weird, they cram all the snow stuff in the second half of the game, but rightfully so because these enemies are the new gimmick now where they actually go underground and when they come to a hole, they'll pop out, run forward into either the next hole or they'll run, hit a wall, run back, and then go into it. And the big thing, the big change here, though, is that they could hit you from underground. So, you kind of have to be careful. I don't believe, yeah, there's no way to get them from that way. I think if you're in the hole, but not underground, they can't hurt you. Let me check. Yeah, that, that's the only way that they will not hurt you in some way. But, you can also do that, and that actually jams them in- oh, I actually caught them. Uh, but, if they're in the- the path, like, they'll- they'll go, like, they'll go, like, up and down and won't be able to move forward, because they'll be stuck. Yeah, that's the main gimmick of this stage. You have to be, you have to start getting really care, because shit like that'll happen. I actually just found out, I think, not last night, was it two nights ago? That, um, there is a very fast, this is a very fast game to speedrun. Because I was looking up, I was like, oh, I'm playing Wall Mania and AGDQ is next week. I should look up and see how the speedrunning for this game works. And, uh, it turns out, there's a huge, uh, they call it a wrong warp, the person that found it or perfected it, but I don't think it's actually a real wa wrong warp, because it doesn't take you directly to the end. But there is, like, a weird, like, underflow, out-of-bounds glitch you can do that'll get you to the last level in a very fast amount of time. So we got three barrels and a ball. So let's, uh, let's see. We can drag this over here, drag this over here, and chop that down. There we go. Shit. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Oh, hey, heart. Another heart. Which I'm going to need to replace the folly that I just made there. Nope. When he comes up. see how this is kind of a little difficult because you got to go back and forth here so killing the enemies are probably the uh, best way to go about this That's nice, because once you're done clearing out an area, you can just kind of leisurely, leisurely, I guess depending on where you live, handle the rest of the items and shit. So we got spikes, we got rabbits, we got a mole thingy. It is a mole, right? Mama mole. Wait, I'm a mole. What are these things? Wait, no, 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 hold on. What was the boss of this stage called? God, iOS, please stop doing that. Every day now, iOS is like, hey, install install the new one. And I'm like, no, fuck off. And wow, rest area already? Okay, cool. Well, my story's boring you. Too bad. You want to be recovered, you have to listen to him. Ow, you prick. Okay. This looks like it might take a little more cunning than simply push- You know what, fuck it. Caution to the wind. Things have a way of working out for me. And by that, I mean not at all. What's going on over here? We got one guy kind of skulking around down there. Actually, wait, this isn't gonna work because I need that barrel. Nuts. Let me tell you, I'm all in the mood for this today. I'm actually in the mood to play a puzzle game because um, I don't know if anyone here watches uh, or anyone watching this on YouTube or anything. Uh, I don't know if you watch uh, Game Grumps, but Aaron was showing off his, like, unfinished Match 4 puzzle game. And I was like, oh man, I could really go for some, uh, Puzzle League now. Or Tetris Attack, which I actually did stream a little bit of a year ago. Well, not a year ago, but, like, last May. Um... What the fuck am I supposed to do here? I have to find a way to get the, uh, barrel, like, past the orb. Or get the orb to respawn itself. I think I know just how to do it. Because we want the barrel in there first. But unlike the barrel, the orb can respawn if I toss it into a hole. So there you go. Oh, why did I move the weight down there, though? Idiot. I gotta go back. We have to go back. Oh, hey, Knox. What's happening? You missed me talking for about five minutes. No, 
that's cool, dude. Whenever, whenever you, you know, whenever you want to show up, I appreciate it no matter what. <laughs> I was just talking about uh, match three puzzlers and um, really wanting to play this game and uh, fuck speed running this game, which is actually a lot more of a thing that you would think it would be. You missed me fumbling with this for about half the stream so far. That room was really holding me back. Hey, we got over here. Locator. It locates things. It's funny because I don't have the map though. But yeah, I was saying uh, there is a huge like speed running trick with this game that lets you beat it in under 10 minutes if you're fast enough. And I am totally down for trying that. I'm so sorry. Take care of a little something. Shit, dude. Bruh. Is it a glitch? Yes, it is. There's a glitch that lets you beat this game in, uh, in about ten minutes, if you know what to do. Essentially what it is, is, um, I'll actually show it off after I beat the game, which might be tonight. I don't know how long this is gonna take me. Because these last three levels, like I said at the very beginning, these last three levels are extremely long compared to the rest of the game. So this might take a whole stream, it might take more than a whole stream. I'm, I'm hoping kind of doesn't. Tomorrow I'm gonna do a short stream, because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm good at keeping promises. Um... This one looks like a head scratcher. Usually it's the other way around. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, so let's see. We don't want. We don't want to waste these barrels. Devs will kind of run out of money time. The levels get shorter. No, no, they designed this so that it gets, like, longer and harder. <laughs> no pun intended, obviously, no innuendo intended, because I'm so original and funny. Um, I, no, I don't, I don't know. Alright, what do I need to do here? I need to move those three weights in the corner to get the ball out, and then I need to move the ball around. So, if I push... You son of a bitch, alright. If I push... No, wait, I can't do that. This wasn't a rushed game. I don't even think this game was, like, announced until it came out. It's not in America. I think I know what to do. Hold on. Yoink. Fuck. Wait, no, this doesn't make sense. Shit. Wait, now it kind of does. What the? Piece of shit. How'd you do that? I didn't mean to do that. This might work anyway. You don't have to do it with finesse as long as you do it.
I did it. Very ungracefully, but I did it. I'm going back for a refill, actually. <laughs> Top off my, my my hearts. Yeah, that was a botch job. But it worked. Okay, well, this is new. Also, sorry for the yawn. I am I am a bit tired tonight. So yeah, as you can see, this uh, this level is a little bigger than the ones we're used to. I mean, it's not too much bigger than four, but uh, this is where they do start getting to be a bit longer, to the point where I think they use two themes per level from now on. Like you know, every other level it was like, okay, it's just a forest. Just a beach, just pipes, or whatever. Now I think we get into the whole, like, you're gonna have, like, half the level be one theme and half the level be another. Alright, I see what I have to do here. There's only one way to go about this. I see what the puzzle is now. They really, uh... They really pull one over on you. I think it works, because I can do that. And I can do this. Yeah, there we go. I'm smart. I know how to solve a puzzle. Save room, really? Bang my head. Do I still have the map? Yes, I do. Okay, good. And did it again. By continuously pressing A underground to make holes, you can move faster. Try this in the bonus stage. Yeah, see? We got a different theme now. Different music, and it's like a castle kind of area. I remember this being like the area where I started getting caught a lot in this game. Arrow panels. If you place a ball on it, it will roll in the direction of the arrow. So these are cool. This automatically sends the ball, like, sailing. So it destroys enemies and it just moves forward. Obviously, that'll be played into puzzles very heavily here. So earlier you saw an ongoing charity stream, and while you support things like that in general, the way they announced who donated and how much was so obst obstructing that it filled, failed. The, it basically filled the entire stream and played a terrible sound clip. I know a lot of streamers that do that to make their streams exciting. Um, I'm generally not a fan of that. Though I will say that if I was, if I ran the kind of stream where I got 
like, people donating stuff often, um, I would probably include some sort of shout-out system. Just, just to give props to people. Because right now it's mo it's so, like, ooh, there's a surrender item, um... Right now, you know, I, I generally get, like, maybe two or three people, at most, like, showing generosity, which is really nice. And it's like, I'm just gonna thank you and shout- oh, god damn it, really? I'm just gonna shout you out, like, on stream. There's no reason for me to have, like, a big fl shit, have, like, a big flashy thing that's just gonna distract you from what I'm doing. I also, I've, I haven't set it up because I feel like if I do set it up, it's gonna lag my computer. Like, I don't know how much of that donation, like, uh, indicator stuff is server-side and how much is, like, computer-side. Because if it's on my side, it's probably not gonna run very well. Now, like, you get this strategy where, like, you have to throw it past some arrows, like, have it hit other arrows, blah, 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 stuff like that. Pretty neat. The game is, this is, very, this is a very clever game. And thank you for doing that, Nox. Again, don't feel like you're under any obligation at all to do that for me. I really appreciate it, though. Yeah, now you get to use my, uh... My silly little bird emote. I actually have... Technically, I have access to three emotes, because if you subscribe at the higher tiers, you get the other ones. I have not bothered designing one for the higher tiers, because I would never e even, like, ask for anyone to, to, to subscribe at that level, because it's just like... My stream's not that great. <laughs> uh, alright, so what do I do here? Do that, because now so cheat that out. Now it doesn't go anywhere, and I can just pull it forward. Though, mm, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now if I throw it, it's gonna hit that, then it's gonna hit those two, and then it's gonna go straight into the hole. So what I need to do is throw this, and then before it reaches there, put that there. There we go. Or I could have let it go around the other way, whatever. Yeah, this game's really fun. It's, it's very clever. I think uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, like, came up with the idea for it himself, actually. Which is really cool. I'm not sure, though. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure on that. Yeah, he's, he's pretty creative. I know Nintendo, like, didn't fully make this game on their own. It was produced by, um... I forget what it's called. PAX Soft Konica? Soft Onica or something? But I think they handle a lot of ports and stuff. I'm not sure. They, they handled some other port that I, I remember playing... Or some game that I remember, I can't. That I played, rather. Not that I remember, because obviously, I don't remember it. Uh, Alright, so I could throw that up there. Hmm. Throw it that way. Now, the only way I could throw this is up. So, let's move this over here. Once ready, he's terrifying as fuck when he's pissed. Um, 
I do remember reading that myself. That he can be very, um... When he, he, he does not get angry often, but when he gets angry, he gets... He apparently gets angry. Uh, wait, no, how's that gonna work? That's why you almost never see him with, like, a scowl on his face, because he's apparently, like, always tries to be super chill until he has to not be. I do. I gotta go down now. This next one, this one's actually pretty, uh... It's pretty, uh... Pretty rough. Or, wait, no. What am I doing? over. Yeah, there we go. The guy who wrote the article mentioned that he worked on some game convention where they presented Wind Waker and there were some difficulties. Oh yeah, I think I remember reading that too. And he was, uh, Miyamoto was not happy about that. Oh, bonus stage. I like how you could see the dig trails you made in, the, in these bonus stages underneath the uh, holes. Also, I love how easy this one is because you could just trap them in like an endless loop here. It's a very methodical way of moving that you can kind of exploit, which I imagine comes in handy in the speed run. Go boop, 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 and boop into that hole. I gotta get the black ball down one space. Hmm. I think I see what to do here. Or not. Actually, no, I was on the right track there. I think I know exactly what to do. So I push this here. Now check this out. Check this out, check this out. Look how clever this is. Now you throw this here, which at first glance doesn't seem to do anything. But... You go around here. Push this here. Now you do this, and now the ball just stays there, now you just push it down one, and you can just pull it over. Bam. Clever. Clever girl. Alright, so we got a bunch of barrels and a, 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 a ball. Seems legit. 
You fuck. But there's only seven holes and eight barrels, so the, the object is to not over barrel. Because then you screw yourself. Because then the last barrel is just going to clog up the exit. got two things, two pads that move into uh, the hole. We obviously want to do the barrel first, and oh man, look how that's set up. That's weird. Alright, never mind. I thought we wanted to do the barrel first. What we should do is move the weight first, because if we put the weight in the wrong spot, you fuck, um... We're not going to be able to, um, get the ball down there properly. We want to get both the ball and the barrel up there first. Otherwise, we're just left. We're going to be screwed when it comes to getting one or the other there. Pay some bills there. Not all the bills, but some of them. That was cool, but ultimately pointless. wasn't really much of a puzzle, was it? <laughs> Doors directly below me, we got one barrel, one up panel, and a ball. Well, the only move I can make here... To throw this back. See, it, all, it definitely doesn't look like. Hmm. Actually, this might be easier than it looks, honestly. I put this here. Easy, actually. That right side didn't come into play at all. This room looks suspiciously empty. Hmm. Push 
down. No, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, no! I didn't mean to do that. Right there. Piece of cake. Alright, uh, unkillable enemies. A bunch of arrows. I imagine there's enemies beneath me. No, there isn't. Honestly, this is just a straight shot to the end here. You just gotta push the barrels out of the way. The problem is... You don't want them to get in the way. Because those enemies cannot be killed. Shouldn't have tried to show off there. Thankfully, this is a save room. Or safe room, or garden, or whatever. You can't get the cabbage at first, just keep trying. Okay, and we're back to snow area. That's neat. Oh, that's just a shortcut down there. I have to go this way. This is just gonna lead back to the first room. Back to the beginning. That's neat. So here's where we actually have to go. Right, so obviously the main gimmick here is that this hole is gonna, uh, that arrow is gonna send the ball right into the hole. And we don't want that. That's bad. Bad hole. We get the ball down at the bottom, though. You ass. into a hole. Nice. So the only way to move this ball is onto that, so we have to find a way to block this hole up. And then we need to not block the exit as well. So let's take a second to look at this and admire it. Let's figure out the solution. Now notice also, no matter which of the three arrows here it touches, it's going to lead to a hole. So I need to block this hole and this hole with weights. Weird, aren't moles not have bad eyesight? So why is he wearing sunglasses then? 
Uh, you know what? It's a video game, so shut up. <laughs> uh, actually, I have no clue. This is awkward, because, like, the only way I can do this is to dig a hole right here. That, 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 and now we can move this over here, and up there. Come on, what in this game is making sense? Why do I have to push balls into into the stone bricks? Why why is the menu look like a friggin' Windows screen? Why haven't I found the recovery yet? Where's that? Why am I trying to be funny? I'm not funny. That's a good that's another good comparison we can be making here. Why am I a mole, but I'm clearly fighting other moles here? Alright, gotta think this through. Also, I like how the puzzle's here because you're traveling underground for each of them. It's like a little isolated island, so there's no other land here. I feel weird not grabbing that heart. Even though there's no impetus to do it. Nine barrels. A lot of holes. Ass. Alright, if I throw that barrel in there. In the first hole, right in front, right to the left of me. Do I have enough? I have, I'll have six. That'll be enough to build a bridge. Okay, yes. So I can do this. Good. It's honestly doesn't even seem that puzzly. Because you're given more than enough barrels to do this. Oh, there's something else over there, shit. Big Mama's the boss here. Go undergrooned and see how she moves, then hit her with a ball. Undergrooned. 
good typo. I never grabbed the, the the healing item. That's annoying. It's not here, is it? Oh, now I want to go and look for it. I don't need it, though. I mean, I really don't. You don't need it for 100% either, so it's like... Fuck it. Big Mama's family. The little rats that you've been defeating are Big Mama's children. She's a very protected mother. Oh, so they're rats. They're snow rats. Alright, so the way this works is that they're all underground. You can see where they're all gonna pop up, and then you kind of just aim the ball at her. That was a very lucky spawn. I don't- I don't know if there's a sense of randomness to it or not, or if it's set. Right, she's gonna show up right there. So I'm actually getting a really good pattern here. Ah, but her children are taking too long. Because the thing is, she also waits for her children to be ready to spawn. So, if her children are just, like, like still running, she'll just be stuck in a spot until they decide to, uh, pick an area. Crotch humor. But yeah, getting the healing potion does not count towards 100%, so it's alright if I don't have it. Though not knowing where it is is annoying me. Alright, time for level 6. 50 minutes in. Not too bad. I might be able to do this all tonight. Alright, so here we are at the second beach level. Hey, hey, the Sammy bros love to play. Hurry and find us. Time's wasting. So they're related to those enemies that walk around corners, which is fun because I hate those enemies. So we got the locator and the map in the same room here. Just get a little peek, a little taste. I think this is where they stop kind of uh, introducing new gimmicks. And it's just kind of everything you've learned. So the generic beach jocks, yeah. They're pretty much these guys, just, um, slightly different. Exactly what I'm supposed to do.
And I think as a kid, I forgot I could walk on these. So I was like, oh wait, I could just walk over here. get that ball moving over here. You gotta be careful, you can't move the barrel into the corner or else you can't finish the puzzle. I dropped the spaghetti, which is what I ate for dinner tonight. It's good spaghetti. Who touch on my spaghetti? Carbonara? Was it Carp? No, it's the Carbonara. Spaghettini. It's thin spaghetti. It's th thin skets. Uh, Alright, so ball, arrows, weight, three annoying Goombas. They're totally not Goombas, guys. Got it. They're Mr. Resetis. They don't look like Mr. Resetti. Oh god, sorry, my nose is kind of bleeding. Cold weather and shoveling will do that to you. Ugh. Sorry about that. Alright, what am I supposed to do here? Alright, well, the big gimmick, you can, as you can tell, is that even though there's water in the middle, I can dig underneath this. So that's obviously going to come into play here. I need to get that ball to the door. Hitting that square is going to be a bad idea, so I want to get something blocking it. Like both of those barrels. And the hole itself is redundant. So it's kind of like a red herring. Like The game is like, oh, you should throw a, um, a barrel into that hole, but it's like, no, nope, you shouldn't. You could just surpass the hold easily. he's wearing eye eyeglasses or sunglasses because he doesn't need to see so he can look cool I mean he's underground so what use are sunglasses down there anyway
Got the locator. to go around the other way for that. So what I want... Oh, you asshole! Forgot I could walk on spikes. God damn. Alright, I think I figured it out. the ball the barrel into the hole on the top right you'd be stuck uh yes I would but I could also if you're stuck you can also just hit this and it'll bring you back to the exit so now that would avoids pushing it into the corner and I can just pull it out here So here we got a dilemma of all spikes and a ball. So we gotta find out the way to get it so I can position it in the league with the door and then push it. Or kick it, rather. But how to go about that? Where I place the hole is gonna be important, too, because obviously we don't want to put it in a spot where the ball is gonna fall into it. So, the only way to move the ball initially is to the left, and I'm gonna have to throw it, so the first hole cannot be on the bottom row. See? And then it's gonna be at the edge, so the next hole cannot be directly above it, or onto the right. And then it's gonna be there, so I gotta push it one the other way, then pull it one, and push it down one, then pull it one, then push it down. Alright, I see where to go with this. I think I figured it out. First hole should be right here. Ass wipe. I'm gonna die. thinking maybe I could just punch it over there, but no, that doesn't work. Alright, all the enemies are gone, so this works out to my advantage. Push it. So now we can't, you know, you can't uh, stand on the spikes, but you can still grab stuff and push something out of it. So now, we just gotta pull, push this down one, pull it left or right one, push it down one, and then throw it from here. Push it, pull it, push it, and then throw it. Oh, 
I'll go in the restroom. Yeah, by the way, bonking is how you do the, uh, the glitch to get to the level 8 early. It's pretty wild. Practice! You'll need all the help you can get in Versus Mode. Never played Versus Mode, because I've never met someone else with this game. And the Virtual Console version does not support multiplayer. Four weights, one barrel, one ball. Not getting over there. Alright, looks pretty, uh... Looks pretty legit. Seems legit, bro. Oh, why'd I do that? No. God damn it. The only games Nintendo even bothered to put multiplayer in their Pokemon games, which sucks. Oh, for the virtual console, yeah. Even the, um, even the Oracle games, the Legend of Zelda Oracle games, you have to use passwords. You can't use any of the Game Link stuff to connect them. There's so many cool games that would profit from being available multiplayer. That's kind of what they're aiming for with the Switch, with their online thing. It's like, they want to, uh, have the Switch, um, shit. With the Switch's online service that, again, got delayed until, like, apparently autumn of this year, um, they want to have, like, virtual console games have online play. Which, that alone is pretty awesome, like, having old Nintendo games with legal online. I'm totally down for that, if that's how it's gonna be. points. Well, there's more than 10 points, actually, because there was also a cabbage and a door. So we aren't very far into this stage. We are less than halfway. We got another three save rooms, still the bonus room, and the two more items to find. Even back in the day with the X-Band, they had to reverse engineer the games to make them possible to play online. There was, I think, one game that was specifically built around multiplayer. I know, um, multiplayer via X-Band, yeah. I know that, um, Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo supported, like, the official Nintendo modems and stuff. And allowed for, uh, I think four players online, or eight players. Again, another case of, uh, don't clog up the holes because it's unnecessary. I actually ha I have an old issue of Nintendo Power where they actually talk about doing online with Mario Kart. Super Mario Kart, rather. Which is like right next to the exit, but we can't use it to get to the exit. I think I see where the, the trick is here. Wait, no, actually I don't. Ah, oh, shit.
Never heard about that in Super Mario Kart. That's something to read up on later. Yeah. I forget how it worked in America. I don't think we used X Band. We used something else. I'm not sure. Hmm. There's a trick to this that I'm not getting. Hold on. I think I got it. Move this here. What I can do is I can toss this back here. Now, what I can do is bring this around. Stick that there. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Oh, fuck, I think I trapped myself here. Shit. I was close, I didn't completely get it, though. Alright, I figured it out. I know what to do. It was just a matter of placement being off a bit. As long as we don't touch the black ball, it'll stay on that arrow. So now we knock that, it'll go into there. Now we can pull this back. And now what we do is... Touch that, let it fall in the hole, respawn. And now we just kind of rinse and repeat the process. So pull it up. Stops there, push it up, stops there, grab it, throw it behind us. For some reason there's a path here that just leads to a heart and nothing else, yep. Okay. One barrel, one weight, and uh... Mm. whole lot of arrow panels. So if I throw the ball... Actually, no, I can move it. Mm. We don't want it to go in that hole. This might be a lot easier than it looks, actually. Hold on. Really easy. I, I think some of these puzzles were designed to be completed a different way, and they can kind of just be broken if you know how to do the if you like you know how to abuse the physics of the game. God damn it! Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's almost like a proto Breath of the Wild. Where they design puzzles to be done one way, but then you end up just doing them a completely different way. 
Alright, so this is based on how many barrels I push. We got a lot of them, so... It shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Thought I might have fucked it. Shit. Actually, no. I don't think I fucked it. Hold on. Asshole. You are an ass. Alright. Barrels, a bunch of panels. Ooh, that wind. You might not be able to hear it because of my mic, but uh, it, it is pretty, uh, pretty stormy out there. Not stormy, just windy, really. The, this, I think the snowstorm's over. Thank God. Not even halfway done still. Like I said, the last couple levels of this game get really long. So we got one barrel, two barrels, and a ball. And only the playable areas is uh, diggable, so... Hmm. I guess it's a matter of which hole we fill first. Though, so, hmm. It doesn't seem like, um... It doesn't seem like there's a point in the order of which I do these, actually. In fact, it seems like I have to do this one first. But digging unnecessary holes will probably fuck me, so I want to avoid that. So, I can do this. Eliminate the threat, once and for all.
Also, you gotta be careful not to move into these while they're moving, because that will hurt you. Weights and a hole. Hmm. Which way do we want to go about this? I mean, you have to kind of go up. There's no other way to break the door. So, what I think it needs to be done. Oh, shit. Oh, how that not hit me? Okay. We need to push the weight down, so we can't have the hole be in this row. the other two items behind him. You're doing okay. What? You can't get the items because I'm bugging you, you ungrateful little rat. Nothing you can do about it. See, so yeah, like I said, uh, different music because these levels are hella long. Gotta get the ball up and around. And there's only one path over here, so that's kind of annoying. So, we'll push this over here. No! Oh. I did not hit the A button there. Shit. Oh, I fucked that up. enemies are so goddamn annoying. Push this here. Excuse me. Push that there. the healing room's one behind me, so it's fine. Wait, 
shit, that doesn't work either. Shit. I'm really not thinking this through. Okay. Oh, I see. I need all right. I need to get a path into there without blowing it. That's what I'm doing wrong now. This puzzle is becoming a pain. I got it. Round. Push this up. Oh, that hole in the back is fucking me here. Mm. I don't think this is the solution. I think I fucked up. Because uh, there's no way over there. Oh, yes, there is. What am I doing? Wow, that was dumb of me. I don't know how I couldn't see that. Alright, bunch of barrels, bunch of cabbages, a bunch of these assholes walking around. The only way to move this down here is to move it on top of the barrel spot. Yeah, there's no other way, so that can go there. Puzzle games! Oh, 
Huh. Actually, I was talking about this before you showed up, but, um... Uh... Aaron, or Ego Raptor, you know, Game Grumps, and also Animator, whatever. He was showing off a, uh, a puzzle game that he was working on and never finished today. And, uh... It looks really cool, like, it really got me in the mood to want to play, like, a puzzle game. Like, an actual puzzle- like, a puzzle, like, a match three puzzle game. Not, like, a top-down one. So I might, uh, I might not actually start Metal Gear Solid right away. I might do, like, a one-off of some other game. Because I did, um... I did Puzzle League last year. I did Tetris Attack. For a stream. And I'm thinking of maybe trying a different puzzle game that I could do in, like, one stream. Like, a two-hour puzzle game that I could fit in tomorrow, maybe. Not sure which one I do though. Oh, wait, I could just push this here and then and push this down one. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh. Alright, what do we got here? Three dancing guys, two barrels, one ball, and some mysterious panels. I imagine ideally we'd want the two um, barrels to be in those holes at the end. But maybe we can also do it where it's just one barrel, and we push the other... Actually, yeah, you know what? This doesn't look too difficult. It's mostly just these guys getting in the way. And now I just gotta pull these. Yep, there you go. We have one barrel, one ball, and we gotta cross a pit of spikes to get to the exit. So obviously the goal here is to have the barrel block the path of the ball somehow. And we're probably not gonna be able to make any extra holes, so what I imagine is we have to do it like this. Cigar, not yet at least. Probably could have done it without taking damage if I had played my cards better. But I went for the quick and easy route. Alright. Who's heart? So. If we could get it near the exit, it'll go in automatically. We need... Let's just do that. Oh, wait, no. That doesn't work.
A lot of these puzzles are easier than I remember them being. While some of them are harder. <laughs> Oops, knocked my uh, audio on your face. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, these assholes are moving the wrong way. Nothing, asshole. He blocked away. Bunch of holes and a spike. I remember this one catch catching me up. Or tripping me up pretty hard. I don't know why. Or maybe it's not this one, maybe it's a later one. Yeah, the old mole is a dingus. Real ding dong dingus. There he is again. Did you get the items that were behind me a little while ago? Well, go get them. Also, I think according to this map, that means he's like simultaneously in this room and two rooms behind me and one room below me at the same time. Mysterious arrow. Reality defying Scrongus. <laughs> bonus time! Except it's not really a bonus stage if you have to beat it to beat the game. Oh, look at this setup. Thankfully, you can just restart it immediately. I don't think I lost one last time. stage. Yeah, not 
one in this time either. Now beat this stage again and collect 50 rings. God, no. If I had to start the whole stage over just to do the bonus, I would be so pissed. I would have never beaten this stage of, or this game if that was the case. the hole I just made. Fuck! Alright, it was really close there. We'll try again, it's no big deal. Are you kidding me? Come on. I planned that out perfectly and then he like fucked me at the end. He grabbed his speed up. Got it. Whew. I get the hell out of here. Never come back. Thin course, T H I N N, with a space between each one. How's it going? Since my part in this game is so small, I've got to show my face as much as I can. Literally, do, does that just to be bait, more or less? How much longer is this stage? Uh, well, we still got another save room. Or safe room. Ugh, I need to stretch a bit. Told you, this, this game takes a long... I've been playing this 
now on this stream as long as I did the last stream. So, I'm like, I played pretty much the same amount in that time. That wasn't right. I played myself. Fuck. Also, I've only got half the cabbages in this stage. The only way to get the only way to move this is to push it down. But maybe I'm doing something else wrong here. I mean going up is impossible because that thing can't be pushed up or down. Or it can't be pushed left or right. It can only be pushed up or down. So it would stand a reason that I have to push it up. It means the only way this ball is going is straight up. There's not enough room if I move it that way. Oh, but there is if I move it the other way. Okay. Push this here. Do that. Do that. There we go. Bunch of weights and a black ball. Hmm. Hmm. It's just a matter of pushing the right ones out of the way. And also making a hole in the exact right spot. No. That wouldn't do anything. Yeah, here's where the puzzles start getting a little stumpy for me. I doubt digging up here is gonna cause any harm, so let's do that. Push 
this down. This all the way over here. Push this here. Push this over here. None's really impeding my forward movement here underground, so. I got it. Push this. Push this. There we go. Straight shot to the end. Easy. Oh no, this is the puzzle that I always got caught on as a kid. This one took me a while, and I can't remember what I have to do here. There's two barrels of weight, a cabbage, and a bunch of spikes. And these, this is actually on spikes, so I can't push it. In fact, I can't do anything with this except throw it forward. Which blocks up that hole right there. There's two hearts. Again, this requires a careful spike placement. So, let us observe. <laughs> Alright, the barrel at the bottom, I can move and then push it somewhere. To do something at some point in time. I think the point is to clog up the two holes in front of the door and then just toss the barrel or the ball behind me. So, in order to do that, I need to find a way to push this where it's not going to fall into that hole right there. Or, wait. It's impossible to push that weight too far. In fact, I can only push it in two directions, and both directions push it onto a spike. So, with that in mind, I'm pretty certain that I'd have to push it this way. Because the only thing I could do here is push this push it here, and do that, unless, wait a minute, maybe I have to do that with the barrel first, huh? I gotta figure this shit out. Onto something, but I don't have it yet. Or do I? Maybe I do. Hold on.
was on something, but now I don't know. You know what? I don't need to stop that thing. Alright, so maybe I was wrong here. Maybe I have to push it up. That's not right. Shit. No, I don't... Oh, God damn it. Like I said, this is the puzzle that always tripped me up as a kid. This is the one that, like, I could not beat until I just got it by pure luck. This barrel's got to come into play later, because it can only have one possible movement. The weight only has one po two possible movements, and once it's made, it can't be made again. So with that in mind, it's entirely on the ball on the bottom uh, barrel. Maybe there's a way that I could get it on the ball onto the top row of spikes, or second to top row, have both of those holes at the top be clogged, and then just push it from the row on below it, the holes below it. Hmm. I'm kind of seeing something I could do here. Wait a minute. No, no, that's not coming to me. I'm, I'm thinking of, like, ways I could push these balls, but they keep, um... It just keeps pushing me in, like, a dead end every time I think of a solution here. Also, I'm aware this is very boring. <laughs>
Let's just fuck around for a bit, see if something happens. Seems pointless, honestly. Oh fuck, why'd I do that? No. God damn it. push the weight, because once it's on the spikes, it's not going to move anymore. But, pushing it down, so it's either up or right for the spikes. The barrel in the corner can only be moved one way, and that's being pushed forward, or pushed to the left, rather, into the hole. The only way I could see around that is if I somehow got a barrel into the, set this barrel into the very top right hole, and then pushed it over onto the one next to it. But in that case, it wouldn't really matter much anyway. Because then I'd have no way to get up there. Because the only way to get into those two holes is underground, and if I block both holes, then I can't do it. So, if I could figure out how to get the ball onto the spikes right below the two top holes, then I could get it in easily. But I don't know how, and I can't see a way to do it. Because even if I push the weight up one, the ball's still going to get caught in that space in between those four spikes. So that's not going to work. So that solution is incorrect. Because there's no way to get the ball directly above me on the spikes. Two spikes above me. that in mind, we have to find a new solution. And that solution is... Uh... To get a barrel... Wait... I think I got it. All right, I think I figured it out. I was thinking about it too hard, that's what I was doing. Again, I, I completely ignored the try not to push every barrel into a hole solution.
that's probably why I kept tripping up on it the last few times I played this game, is because I kept thinking I needed to put those, uh, those barrels in the holes, and I never thought it through. So this, we got two of the arrows, a single weight, and a door. This looks like it might be complicated, but also not really. I think I might know how to do this immediately, actually. No, wait, never mind, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. This is easy. Hold on. This looks incredibly easy, actually. This is mostly just, uh, dodging enemies. God damn it. Why do I have to be so impatient? Very tiny challenges here. And again, this is a very much a trap right here. They're like, oh, which hole are you gonna block up? The answer is neither. Once you start hitting your stride, it gets a lot easier. I'm so lonely. Nobody visits this old mole anymore. Uh. You could dig in this room. That doesn't make any difference. There's nothing in here. Alright, five more rooms to go. Down there any other way? Yes, I can. Good. I'm really not trying hard enough here, aren't I? I'm kind of just falling into the motions now. Actually, this puzzle seems a lot easier than it is. Or it seems a lot harder than it is, honestly. This puzzle's pretty easy. Thank you. 
the exit, and then go back and get my health back. Whoops. Over here is the right way to go. One weight, one barrel, one ball. Hmm. The only way to get the ball up is to get it into the corner there, so the barrel does have to come down. And underground we have a very limited amount of space to move in. Dig over here, though. Get over here. But that's also a dead end. So you want to go down. So the only options are here, here, or here. We want to dig. Eh, here's fine. Space is like killing me here. Oh, there we go. Wait, just go around now. There we go. I don't know why, why I didn't see that happening. The hell, brain? Work better! Cabbage heaven, look at this. Sammy Bros. Little Sammy can't be beat. Breet? Good job, Steve Rule. Little Sammy can't be beat. Use the chain to defeat Big Sammy. And I call myself a voice actor. Come on. I get sick on Broats. Close quarter fuckery.
easy. Danger, danger, the Sammy Bros. So this made him a little wacko. They're very easy. So that guy's humping the ball in the corner. Uh, did I miss anything? No, I didn't. Got everything. So if you if you hold on to the ball too long, it hurts you. All you have to do is hold on to one of the uh, things. But you have to be careful because the little guy runs on like the track. He follows a pattern. Also, pulling it straight onto a uh, arrow is gonna hurt you. Always. So this, you could pull it straight down to be quick, which I might do actually. Or nah, you know what? I'll do. I'll go for finesse here. You pull it around. You also gotta be careful because this asshole follows a very stringent path, just like that. I actually fucked up here. Damn it. There we go. So it's crazy how long the levels are and then the bosses take like a minute. If you know what you're doing. that come from? Or is that supposed to be the ball from the enemy I just beat? Sun just smiling away. Yeah, it's the sun from level two. It's the one I killed before. Level seven. Snowman's my name and cold is my game. I can't wait to bury you in snow. So already in the first room, they give you, uh, 14 points, two cabbages, and a locator. So now we're getting into ice stuff with pipes. Elbow pipes. And also, all the enemies here are just stuck underground, so... You think the room is safe, and you walk in, and bam, you're fucked. And since the only way to get down there is through these pads, that means you have to dodge the enemies underground. One way, that way. Push this on the spikes. Ouch. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this came up before, but you can't actually throw something into an elbow pipe unless there's more than one space away from it. A weird limitation that only happens with elbow pipes.
yeah, you gotta be very careful here. You don't want to go the wrong way. Otherwise, you wreck yourself without checking yourself. Oh, fuck. I messed up. As you can tell, these stages are going to get a little more complicated now. It's going to take a little more than a minute for each one. right anyway. I tried to get clever there, and the truth is, I, I probably should not have. It was like one of the cases where I like should have just gone straight for it. that down is a mistake. I'm gonna dig out here. Also, using the bottom elbow pipe is a mistake because there's no room to get it in there. We want to get the bat weight. But, can I do- ooh, that's a one-way path. Okay. So, we want to move the ball out first, then the barrel, then move the barrel over, then move the top elbow pipe in there. I take it one step at a time. Elbow pipes. Uh, hmm. Though, from the looks of it, I can dig over there, so I don't need an elbow pipe to hit the exit. I just need something for the ball to stop in front of it. Or maybe I have to put the ball in the pipe, push it into the alcove, then go and throw it behind me into the exit.
That pipe on the bottom can't be moved at all. Actually, even the top pipe can't be moved down. It can only move left, left or right if I move that other thing there. So... Hmm... This is looking like I have to move it to the left. Yeah, actually, you know what? This is looking a, little sim a lot simpler than it seems. No, I think I might have this a different way. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't need to use the pipes at all. Maybe it would have been possible to get it from the bottom right, but... Or from the right, but not in this case. Also, this room's fun, because you can do this. To be honest, oops, I mean to do that. To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna. F if I don't finish this uh, level by, uh, well, it's been two and a half hours. If I don't finish this in a half hour, I'll finish it tomorrow and do the last level because the last level is very short. And then I'll do something else for a little bit after that. But tomorrow is gonna be an earlier, shorter stream anyway. It's gonna be like seven to nine. Middle's completely closed off. The only way to dig in there is if I get in there. The pipe is important. There's a hole right there, so uh, this pipe can be used if I push it inwards and then around. Hmm. This is interesting, because I can't connect the outer and inner circles here. Hmm. I push that witch straight up. No. No, 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 no. If I go here, this might require some experimenting. Actually, I boxed myself in there. I can't get out. Top pipe part two down. Well, I know it'll get me in there. Are you figuring this out on your own, or are you looking this up? <laughs> I 
What? No, that doesn't work. Push the top pipe part two down and the bottom pipe one to the left. Now it's a little trickier than that because you gotta do this. Are oh, you figuring it out? Alright, well, wait. You have to use an elbow pipe to get that door, because the door's an, uh, like... Well, no, it doesn't matter, because if you send the ball out, then you you still need... Look, look where the door is. There's no way for me to push it into there. I have to use an elbow pipe to get it. The thing is, both the up and the down... Oh, wait, no, actually, the sorry, the up one can't be used at all, because it's not pointing to the left. So it has to be this pipe. The pipe on the bottom has to be used to open the door. Which means I need to push it to the left, up, left, and then down. So, maybe open this, open this by pushing that there. Might be a good idea because then they could take a little while longer to fuck around. Okay, weights and a ball, and we're stuck in the corners. So obviously, those two holes at the bottom we don't want to fill. We want to fill one of the holes in front of the door. Actually, I didn't. I saw Jinbei screaming, I won't make it! What's going on? It's a mystery. Where'd your mouth go? Why isn't he in his mouth there? That's weird. Did they draw, like, the sprite in for every single one of these messages? So, like, that's I, I don't get it. Either way, it's a mistake. Also, look, it's springtime now.
got this. You know what to do. Just like No Man's Sky. Wait, what? Actually, no, wait, no, I didn't. App yet? No, I don't. I have the locator. So this can only go straight down, and this can only go sh above. Oh wait, no. Sorry, I can go to the left as well. I think I noticed that. I see what the goal is here now. Oh god damn it! Why did I do that? Why my my A button like fucked up there? You asshole! fucked up again. I am not thinking any of this through, and fucking Xbox game bar, stop coming up. No, this is not a game. I mean, yes, it is a game, but not to me. This isn't a fucking joke. Okay, good. I think I got this figured out. Yeah, 
There we go. That's how easy this puzzle was. It's not intentionally. You're here! Yeah! You're so close! Your next foe is my best creation! Don't cry too hard when you lose! And there's nothing here. I'm sorry. My masterpiece will be postponed for a while. Please be patient. Fucked up. I think the implication is that he was gonna send the snowman after you here, but because it's spring now, uh, it's too late. <laughs> Back in my favorite area, Pudding Tree. Pudding Tree Forest. The dude made you fight the sun. What good is a snowman compared to that? Yeah, I know. trickier than it looks. No, oh, it actually not really. Let's push this up here. There we go. Actually, was there anything hidden in there that I didn't notice? Ow. Nope, nothing hidden. A path up there, though. We finally have the map. Let's see where we stand here. And the answer is not very far. I do not think I'm going to beat this before uh, the end of the night. <laughs> In fact, I might uh, stop the next rest area just because I'm only 15 minutes from where I'd stop anyway. Ow, you ass. All right. Oh, there's nothing here. Shit. This isn't really a puzzle room, this is a void enemy's room.
Watch this. Push that right there. And now, this can't. Oh, never mind. It goes straight back. Fuck. I was like, oh, it's clever. Nope, not clever enough. I thought I was just gonna stop it. But if I do this. Again, they overcomplicate it for no reason. There's something down there, but I can't reach it. It's the potion. So now here I gotta throw it. Actually, wait, no. I can, I can just pull it around here. What the hell? Why do they make these look so complicated? Losing his edge. Jinbei's losing his edge at puzzles. Oh, next stress room already? Maybe they'll go for one more then. might be difficult. Hint. Timing is the key. Good luck. I remember this room. This is what I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is... So, the way this room works is you have to throw the barrel and the ball at the same time. And when they collide at each other, they stop moving. That's literally all this room is. Let's see how many tries it takes me to do this. Attempt to number one. Too early. You have to throw the barrel first because it's got to travel farther. Oh, so close. Actually, no, wait, I'm sorry, that's too early. It can't be in that row, because I need to dig up underneath it. So it's got to be closer to the end. Alright, never mind, I think this has to go first. That's too early. That's going to hurt somehow. Nope. That's 
too early. Or too late. I can't tell. It's so frantic that it's hard to, like, pinpoint. Oh, no. Missed it by one. Maybe it's right when it's behind me. There we go. Like that. Nope. That's too late, I think. It's gotta be before it's behind me. Look here, maybe. Nope. That was one too late. So on was that? That was when it was in the pipe below me. Behind me. So, maybe right here. There we go. There we go. You did it. more is left here. We are just about halfway done. Wait, are we? Yeah, we are. So, I'll get to the next rest stop, and that'll probably be where I stop for the night. Pipes at the top. Can't move the one. Right we'll have to move that one down. Now, actually, it looks like I have to, so. Hmm. Actually, no, it doesn't. What it looks like I have to do is this. Probably not. Hmm. 
This can't be used to open the door, so it needs to be moved. That pipe can be pushed down, but not enough to get to the bottom. So, it's gotta be used as an obstacle, I guess. Like so. Wait. Shit, no, that's not right. Wait, no, actually, do that. And then we can pull this up. Round. Just gotta avoid overthinking it. This. Hmm. This seems simple, but it might not be. It's because of the enemies, I think. No, she can't actually dig anywhere in this one. It's just kind of stuck. Uh, wait. No, that wasn't right. It's the other hole. elbow pipe that we need to move up to the corner and a bunch of weights. Also, did I leave that hole right at the beginning? Because that was dumb of me. I should not have done that. Yep. push any holes out from there. So 
now we could push this one inward. I probably need to keep. We have to push that elbow pipe down there into a hole or into the doorway. This barrel is kind of useless. So, what does that tell me? I need another barrel up here. Let's see what I might have to do here. Wait, no, that doesn't work shit. I see, okay. I think I get the picture here. puzzle solved now for the other half. Step at a time. Squares an exit thing. Try versus mode with a friend. I guarantee a great time. Sorry, just trying to boost sales. I wish this game did sell, sell a lot so that, uh, 
We got a sequel. And we're back to snow. And you know what? That's where I'm gonna stop because we still got a good 17 rooms left to clear. And then the final level. And then I might stream something short tomorrow. So it'll be a, it'll be a good short stream. Like, I'd say this game maybe has like another hour left between the remaining rooms here and the final level. And then, um, you know, then I'll fill another hour with some puzzle game that I want to play. I don't know which one yet, though. But yeah, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it, as always. Uh, is anyone streaming right now that would want to host? Not really. But, uh, yeah, next week, um, is, a GDQ. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna really affect anything. Uh, thank you, Lols. Thank you for coming, too. Even if you don't say anything, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, yeah, I don't think GDQ next week's gonna affect my schedule that much. There's not really a whole lot I want to watch. But yeah. If it has to be a puzzle game, I'm afraid I don't know anything. Well, we'll, we'll see. I, I'm in the mood for, like, a match three kind of, like, quick puzzle game. Not like this where it's, like, actual, like, brain teaser puzzle. But yeah, anyway, uh, you guys have a great evening. It was a chill stream. Tomorrow will be pretty chill too, and it'll be shorter and earlier, hopefully, because I can only do seven to nine tomorrow. But yeah, you guys, uh, you guys have a great evening, and I'll see you around. Good night.